guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a best and less haul. So this was a totally unplanned trip. Cooper and I just hopped in the car and I said, let's go to best and less. And he's like, okay, let's go. No, he wasn't really, but that's what he was thinking. So usually when I go to best and less, I, I just, the whole thing is about uh, Cooper. Today, or this particular haul, uh, I got some stuff for myself as well. Uh, myself, Mick and Cooper are going on our very first family holiday in a couple of months time in in summer here in Australia and at the end of the year. So um, Mick got some new clothes a few hauls ago. Cooper always gets new clothes um, all the time. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to see what's out there for me. And there were a few things, including some swimwear. So that's what I've got to show you today. Okay, so not just one, but oh, two bags. Two bags, best and less haul. Okay, look at the size of this recipe. That is huge. That's a big recipe. Now, I'm just going to pull... I'll do. I'm just going to pull the items out of the bag. I'm not going to go in recipe order because there's so many things on here. Does that have many items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 items and two bags. Uh, for a total of, oh my goodness, $342.30. I don't know if you can see that. $342.30. This is by far the most I have ever spent in one shopping haul or in one shopping trip at Best and Less. It's crazy. I like a bargain. Nay, I love a bargain. Uh, and I got some really good ones. So... These are in no particular order. Um, so this first is a leopard print dress. This is a dress. It is uh, long sleeve, and but it's got um, it's elasticated there. It looks like a V-neck to me. It's a tiered. It's tiered. It's a tiered dress, and it's a very heavy, but it's in lightweight fabric. So it's sort of got like a rust orange uh, background and like a leopard print. It was, it is a size 18. Uh, oh, by the way, I never try anything on. I'm really terrible. I just buy, 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 buy. And if it doesn't fit, I don't take it back. I just keep it or donate it. What is wrong with me? Lots. This one. Ugh. I feel like you've got a booger. This happens when you get your nose pierced. You feel like you've always got boogers. So this dress was originally $35, but I got it for $20. And it's really cute. So that'll be nice to wear, like, out to dinner or, you know, whatever. On the holiday or, or whenever. The next thing is a uh, part of a swimming costume. So they are selling them in separates. Oh, did I tell you that was size 18? That was size 18, that dress. Um, oh, this is all dirty, but that's not to worry. So this is a very nice orange textured sort of crop top, but in swimsuit fabric. Size 18 I got, and it was $12. Uh, bigger busted women like myself, my cup size is double D, sorry, TMI. Uh, we can't do really the one piece. It just doesn't work. So we have to have the support, even if we're not, we don't have the girls out there, at least we've got the support. And speaking of, I've got um, another swimsuit separate. It's a top, a bikini top. Look at that pattern, isn't it gorgeous? It's tropical, it's leafy, um, it's purple and it's green and blue and there's a bit of yellow orangey in there. I've got it in a size 18 and 
and it was $15. Really cute. It sort of crosses over in the front there. Uh, the straps are adjustable. The hardware is like a brushed gold. And that's how it clips in the back. It is underwire, so that works for us bigger busted ladies. And it does have um, pads in the cups. That's a swimsuit top. Um, let's just check the recipe. I'm going to mark them off as we go. So that leopard print dress they're calling a baby doll jersey animal. I'm introducing a different pattern altogether now. So this is so beautiful. Uh, thank goodness orange is in trend because um, everyone who's spent any time on my channel or would know that I love neon orange. So I got this in a size 20. Uh, it was $25. And it is... A tankini so you've got the ruffles hopefully I'm showing this nicely you've got the ruffles on the sort of the sleeve part armhole part and at the front it does have cups on the inside and you've got the, the mesh there I like I said I did try all these on and this one is a real good sucker in any <laughs> suckery innery foundation garment <laughs> uh, it is a swimsuit isn't that beautiful look at that pattern it is gorgeous love now what did I say that was that was $25 it's yeah it's called a tankini the bardo tankini so that's beautiful in that same pattern I got this it and this is a rash shirt in a size 20 it's a long sleeve rash shirt because why not you know why not uh, rash shirt it zips this is how it opens and closes it's got a zippy and it's just beautiful I really love this pattern I got it in a size 20 uh, and it was $35. Okay. So according to the recipe, that one is called the Zip Rash Top Multi. $35. Bucks. It's pretty exy. It'll be good. The next thing I got were these swim shorts. Aren't they cute? It's the same print as the bikini top I got, except they are shorts. They're, it's a raw edge hem, um, but that's okay because it's swimsuit fabric. It's I like the detail on the draw cord. Uh, the eyelets are, hi Poppy, the eyelets are, are brushed gold. This is a size 18 and it was $15. Um... Yeah, I'm finding their sizes for summer are extremely generous. That's that's a good thing to know. Where was I? Fifteen dollars. That's called a swim short in the multi. Size so eighteen. Next. Next. I got these are also swim shorts, but they are just black. They're like. They're almost like bike pants, really short bike pants. Um, black size 22. I don't know why I got a 22. That's weird because I'm usually about a size 18, but maybe I didn't want them to be super duper figure hug hugging. Um, $18. Swim. Oh, okay, so the recipe is calling them swim shorts black. Okay. Next. Oh. <laughs> Hankies. So I got three, three packs of hankies. I call them snot rags. Uh, Michael is old school. He was brought up using handkerchiefs and he uses hankies. I 
personally, my personal opin opinion, I think they're disgusting. Um, who wants to carry this snot around with them all day? Definitely not me. I tissue it and bin it, but that's that's just me. Michael is Michael and it's his own choice. And Cooper wanted to buy them as part of his uh, Father's Day present. So they were $10 each and they are calling them on the recipe a three pack box hanky multi. And that, like I said, they were $10 a box. I cleared those buggers out. They had three boxes left and they all came home with me. Okay, here's some Koopy stuff. This, <laughs> so cute. And these are a size two, they were $10. Um, and they're just little shorts, okay. Um, they got pockies. They have, you know, these excavator building machines on them. Um, they are a tracksuit or, you know, tracksuit type terry cloth fabric. The, the Again, they're raw, uh, raw, raw edged. Um, and they're just so stinking cute. And they have a back pocket too. <gasps> At two years old, what would you need to put in your pockets? Definitely not hankies. I'm not teaching him that. But so cute. And he loves strings. He's really into strings. So they were, they are cute. They not were cute. They are cute. They were $10. And on the recipe, they are... It just says um, a short grey, size 2. <sighs> Next! You know, I had to refold all these when I got home because the person who served me was super duper nice. He was super duper polite. He was making conversation with Cooper, who cannot speak, um, but he just threw everything in the bag. So everything got super duper wrinkly. So as soon as I showed Michael everything that I got, I'm like, I need to fold all this up because, geez, I don't even know when I'm going to be able to film the haul. Um, and as it turned out, it's, it was only three days ago. So um, if I'd left those clothes in the bag like that, they would be super duper wrinkled by now by the time I'm showing you. And that, that wouldn't look nice. So if you do see any wrinkles, apologies. Um, the checkout person at best and less was more interested in talking than folding which is fine um this is size two and it says sand sea no sand sun and sea and it's orange it's a cute t-shirt that is gonna flare like no man's business that that little graphic on the front there short sleeve little t-shirt in a size two um it's a favorites brand i do believe that is one of best and less brand and i don't know how much it was because there's no t price tag on here i'm calling it the short sleeve multicolor t-shirt in a size two it was five dollars okay that's actually not bad for a t-shirt and it's so cute the orange oh kills me five bucks bargain next Oh, I saw these hang up. I'm like, they need to come home with us right now or ASAP, if not sooner. These are so cute. This is the first th thing I saw. Drop crotch. My goodness, gave me MC Hammer vibes straight away. So they are a size two, a little bit on the XC side. At $9, I'd never usually spend $9 on a pair of pants. But these are so cute. They're so stinking cute. Look at that. They are so gorgeous. So I'm getting black, white, and gray camo vibes with a drop crotch pant. How much did I say? $9. Yeah, they're called the Yard Jersey Trike Pant Multi in size 2 for $9. Um, they are so stinking cute. I wish I could get a pair like this. So cute. The next thing I got was for our holiday. It's another rash shirt. Uh, by now this child's got about 20 no maybe about five or six that's fine um it was originally ten dollars and it's got a sticker on it for seven hello it's a ultraviolet protection factor of 50 so that's the i do believe that is the highest rating you can get it is in a size one 
And look how gorgeous this is. I love it. I mean, I know I'm not the one who has to wear it, but I'm the one who has to look at it <laughs> and launder it and pack it and unpack it and dress him. It's so stinking cute. It's, let me describe. Uh, we've got like palm trees and it says tropical sunsets. The main colors are blue, orange, white, and black. Beautiful. The long sleeve rash vest in dark blue and seven dollars there ain't no way my child's skin is getting burnt uh-uh ain't gonna happen look at this ah, it's a polo shirt it's an orange polo shirt with navy um cuffs and collar and cute buttons and it's embroidered 84 on there don't know what the 84 refers to maybe it's the brand no it's not um i got it in size one it was ten dollars and it's stinking cute it is so cute oh my goodness it even has the like it's even got the side splits so you know that's how you can tell if you're supposed to tuck it or not that is so stinking cute ten dollars for a polo shirt so cute it's called a short sleeve Tipping polo shirt in a size one, ten dollars. This one has some really good stuff. Oh my goodness! I saw this from across the room, and I was like, "Hello, you're my new friend coming home with me." This is so cute. It ah, oh, it's a long sleeve t-shirt with fourteen dollars, um, but it is licensed. It's a uh, Scooby Doo Doo. So cute. Michael does a Scooby Doo voice to Cooper and Cooper loves it. Um, that's not the only reason I bought this. Obviously it's orange and it's gorgeous. It's long sleeves. It's cottony. Uh, if what size? It's a size two. It's it actually from the back it looks like a huge size two. And the front says Rot Row Scooby Doo where are you? Oh so gorge. So gorge. $14. This little boy is super styling. Huh. Okay. Oh, $10. I got charged $10 for that. No, the tag clearly says $14. Right? But on the recipe, it says Scooby-Doo Tea Multi, size 2, and that is a size 2, $10. Yay! Huh, I didn't even realise that. See that? It's good to check your recipes. Next! <laughs> um, Now, what are they calling it? I don't know if these are a board short or not. They're just cotton shorts, but they're so stinking cute! They're in a size one and they've got the side pockets, they've got the bum pocket. Um, they are like a cotton fabric, 100% cotton, not light cotton, they are cotton. Uh, they were $9 reduced to seven. And they're so cute. I'm loving the contrast of the blue against the red or the purple against the orange or however you want to describe your colors. Beautiful. Uh, what did I say they were? Seven, yeah. They on the recipe they're calling them a festival short in dark blue. So in size one, so they'll come away on the holiday with us. Geez, we're getting through these, aren't we? Yay! Oh, oh. this is so stinking cute. This was three dollars. So cute. It's yellow, like a fluoro yellow. I'm gonna take this silly looking sticker off. Oh, who's the silly one now? Oh no, don't you hate it when you try to peel a sticker and it just doesn't come off cleanly. There we go. So we've got this. It's a size one, $3 t-shirt. It's just very plain cotton, uh, fluoro yellow, even though it is looking a little bit green on the screen. Um, and it says little dude. But if you look closer, and I really hope that the camera can pick this up, it's like puffed. 
so I don't know if you can see that properly but super cute this child so stylish there you go yeah it's called the short sleeved um puffed tee bright green are they calling that green i would have called that yellow do i have anything else green or yellow to show up again here it's one of these books i'm going to feature in upcoming uh video sneak peek that's yellow oh yeah that is green okay all right i take it back that's green so cute so cute okay we're into the second bag and i think what is going on out there i'm gonna pause this right now because i need to put everything that i just took out of that bag back in i like to do that as i go oh my gosh I keep looking into the screen. I am so sorry. What is wrong with me? I'll be right back. Hi. Let's dive into the second bag. Best and less. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to warn you right off the bat. Some of this includes underwear. Now, I'm a very open and transparent person. And... If you don't know, I'm not going to censor any of my hauls with you. If I bought a pair of undies, I'm going to show you a pair of undies. Uh, obviously, I haven't worn them. Their tags are still on. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, with showing underwear. Especially with how much I paid for these underwear. Uh, this underwear. Um, some people watch hauls to you know, get a better look at something before they buy it online or make the trip out to the shop. Um, and if I can help, then I will. I am not going to not show underwear. Like I said, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. That being said, I've got some undies to show you. Okay, so the first one I've pulled out. Oh, wow. It's a uh, Bonds Retro Rib High Bikini. And it's orange. Isn't that just so cute? I love, 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 love that orange is in style. Now, I don't love, love, love how much these cost. So, where are we? There we go. Bonds Retro Rib High Leg. They just called High Leg. And they're calling them bright red, but that is not red at all. What does the tag say? Hmm. Me. they're not bright red they are orange and they referring to this one garment oh my gosh $18 now bonds are great are they a little bit overpriced perhaps uh, but I only bought one pair and it says retro ribbed recycled so it's made with recycled nylon so that's good something for the environment don't know why I should be paying $18 for them though but I did so I'm not going to whinge about that uh, something else good about this is their all their details are printed on the inside waistband so you don't get any scratchy label on your lower back um, yeah they are a high cut bikini just the one bonds on the front definitely definitely orange definitely ribbed uh and for fuller figure ladies as such as myself comfortable un underwear is extremely important let me just read this do not tumble dry well that's just fantastic and i'm not going to because that's an 18 pair $18 pair of underwear right there and I'm not going to risk ruining it in the dryer. So that's that. Next. This is my two favourite colours in the whole wide world are olive green and neon orange or pretty much any variation of orange. 
So this is a neon green, sorry, sorry, olive green <laughs> edited body brand uh, G-string. It's a size 18 and it was $8 according to the tag. Let's just see what the recipe says. Yep, it's a Tanger Aussie green, fill in a blank G-string, $8. So we've got cotton. Um, this one does have a label on the on the rear waistband. It is 95% cotton and 5% elas elastane, so it's stretchy. Um, ma, 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 do not tumble dry. I will not. I promise. So that's. I don't know if this is technically a g-string because the back isn't string-esque like there's the waistband that's a string the back maybe this is just a super duper high cut uh bikini underpant undie panty whatever you want to call them the tag says what it doesn't say i hope i won't be picking a wedgie out of my butt all day when i wear these I bet it just made a noise. Yeah. So that's that. Olive. Oh, it's olive slash sage green. Cute. Are they cute? Okay, the next. Uh, two more pairs of undies and then I'm not going to torture you with any more underwear. <laughs> um, we're going bonds again. It, it's a seamless midi. It's minimal seams, major comfort. It's cotton rich. Seamless and smooth, no dig leg finish. Ugh. These were $16. Yikes. Our olive green. We've got the bonds. It's sort of in the actual waistband. Um, it's got the comfy sort of seamage. It's it, the tag actually says it's not going to dig in, so that's good. Nobody likes that. What are you, uh, The recipe is calling them the Midi Seam Free Green. So I got a size 18. They were $16. It's almost a dollar for every size. Uh, they look alright. They look comfy enough. Give them a whirl. See what happens. The last pair of undies, if you're horrified. <laughs> um, these, oh, this this colour is the colour of my dreams. What are they calling this colour? Let's see. It says red, but they, these are this is not red. This is orange. So look at look at this. Are we going bonds again? Um, look at that. I don't know, the tag's on a really weird way. Oh, because it's around the waistband. Okay. They don't want to pierce the fabric, which is good. So this, it, these are like seamless. Like, so they're orange with the yellow bonds painted on or printed on. Um, and then in the back waist, again, we've got all the information printed on. No scratchy tags. Betcha this doesn't go in the tumble dryer. No, it does not. Which is also fine, considering this was so expensive. So on the recipe, they're calling it the Bonds Micro Kini. Hmm? Oh, yeah. On the tag, it says Icons Kini. Uh, iconic design, fresh fits. Uh, free cut edges, dipped waist. Oh, this is a really low rider. Uh, in a size 18. So the recipe says Bonds Micro Kini, dark red. It is not dark red. It is orange. Uh, and oh dear, sixteen dollars. Who on God's good green earth pays that much for a pair of underwear? One pair, you get one wear out of them. Oh well, if they're comfy, they're worth it, I guess. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like they're all. It's cut out of one piece of fabric, although there is a back seam up the up the buttocks there can you see that you sort of can sort of can't um it's gorgeous you could see these are the lights off that that is how glowy they are that, that is beautiful 
Okay, undies finished. <laughs> so a couple more things. These are so cute. You have to walk past the, the uh, kids section to get to the fitting rooms, and that's what I found on one of those, one of those pillars, one of those walls where, you know, they've got like little hair accessories and whatnot. Um, they just scream to the children, "Pick me up!" Mummy will buy them for you. Just pick me up. Um, they, these are being called the Wishes Nylon Hair Ties, 14 pack in neon. Four bucks. Bargain. Pink, yellow, green, red and orange. Really cute. Next. Uh, looks like we've got two things left, maybe three. No, two. This. Okay, so I'm I, I am true to Kmart when it comes to bottoms. I wear their joggers, their denim joggers, their cotton joggers, their booty scrunch tights, which I just got in a not long ago haul, which I no doubt have put up since then. Uh, I just I'm really true to Kmart in their bottoms, but these are so comfy, and I tried them on, of course. Um, it's the Breakers brand Super Stretch Jogger. Olive green, y'all. Size 18. It's got the natural, natural color cord, draw cord with the silver hardware. Let's see. They've got pockies, side pockies. That's what they look like. Hope I'm showing that those right. Got back pockies. That these are just elasticated waist yes there's a fly detail but it's not is it functional no it's not it's just a pretend one it's just pretend and right down the bottom you've got the elasticated cuffs which is great for our shorties so um our clothes don't drag on the floor behind us or so we don't have to hem our pants super duper cute i do believe they were 20 something dollars which is fine yeah 29 so these are called the Knit Denim Jogger um, LH Green, LH Green, LH Green. What's LH Green? I'm going to Google it. What is LH Green? <sighs> it's LH Green, size 18, very generous sizes, um, and they were $29. We have come to the last item for this Best in Less haul. Mama and Cooper spent over an hour in there. It was so much fun. Um, the change room I went into, the fitting room that I went into, fit the pram and me, just. And Cooper, of course. Um, but shout out to Best and Less and their fitting rooms. Nice and big. Other shops, there's no way I would have been able to fit a pram in. The fitting room. Which is what I want to do. I don't want to leave my child outside while I try things on. Don't be ridiculous. This is the last thing. It's a t-shirt. I've been getting into t-shirts. Uh, I don't know if it's a mum thing or a comfort thing, couldn't be bothered thing, fashion thing. Um, this is another licensed tee. So we got Fast and the Furious. It was 20 bucks, bargain. Uh, I got it in size 22, nice and oversized. I'm usually about an 18, but you never know with these licensed brands uh if they are true to size or not a fast and the furious and it says fast and furious one last ride i'll show you hello neon oh hopefully you can see that i'm just checking sort of you can sort of see that if if i don't do it justice and i don't show it properly on camera i'll pop up a pick but we've got sort of it's charcoal. I don't know, maybe tie dye, maybe I don't know, maybe it looks a bit like an oil slick. I don't know. It's fast and furious. One last ride. I couldn't tell you what type of car that is, but I will ask Michael and I'll insert the name of it here. I just really liked the colours. Loving neon. Hopefully it lasts for a little while, this neon trend. Uh, because I got lots of it. So what did I say? $20. There we go. Um, B L W, B L W, B L W. Don't know. Fast and Furious Black Twenty Two, 
size 22 for twenty dollars so there you go everything's marked off except for the bags because they're definitely there yeah total of 34230 does that do anything I don't know that's my best and less haul biggest ever that I've ever spent at one point even when I was pregnant I was buying things left right and center for coops I don't even think I spent that much on one purchase but this day I did so you know thank you so much for watching my hauls on my videos I I get a super duper buzz whenever I see my views go up uh, I got another subscriber uh, yesterday and I was just thrilled um, and I don't want to beg but if you want if you like what you see click the like button Go ahead and subscribe to my channel it would be awesome if you did uh, if you don't want to you don't have to but it would be great if you do um, I just want to entertain people and hopefully that's what I've done today okay have a good day bye